Welcome back, you wonderful people. I am Porthos, and this is Porthos Plant News. Yeah, so we've got um, loads of these little guys um, in little pots, and these were actually planted at the same time. This guy, this guy here, these guys were planted at the same time. Same time, but one's in the big pot and one's in the little pot. So I've made a mistake. I have not upgraded the size of the pot early enough. That's my fault. That's on me, guys. I'll take credit for that. I'll take the blame when the when it all hits the fan. Then the compost hits the fan. I'll take the blame. But we're going to resolve that today. We're going to um, get these in bigger pots. And let me just uh, go and get those bigger pots. Ta-da! Bigger pots. They are. Where's, where's, where's my best best place? So I can see them from one camera. Bigger pots, okay? These guys here are got ten for a pound. Ten for a pound. So they're 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 like significantly larger, and they should have all been in there by now. Those type of pots. I'm gonna. I'm doing. I'm doing this inside so that I um, don't disturb the neighbours talking out loud right outside the window because I don't really have a garden so I really would be under, underneath their window sill. So let's uh, let's try not to make too much mess and get compost too much, too many weird places. And uh, let's open up this bag of compost. What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep a little bit in the bottom. I'm going to give it a little bit of a push down, not too much, because I don't want to put the roots growing too much, so just the lightest amount. But really, what you're supposed to do, and I know this, but I'm not doing it because of like logistical reasons, you're supposed to really wet, wet the compost first and get into the kind of uh, saturation levels you want, and then do the potting, rather than do the potting and then watering afterwards, because then all the compost can fall away as you're watering in little crevices and holes and such likes but we are going to take a shortcut here in the future hopefully I'll have a you know, space where I can deal with that kind of stuff but this is what we're doing today it's still going to work, it's still going to be okay we're going to have to dig out with our trusty kitchen knife but, uh, one of these little dudes and then we'll put him in there and then we'll, we'll see how we get on so this one here is a good specimen yeah so what I'll do Catch my head a little bit. So what I'll do is, and this guy's been watered a bit. So hopefully this soil won't all crumble away. I'm going to be just digging around the outside just to loosen it away, holding the soil down. Digging, digging away. Put, hold, put a finger there. Dig my finger there. There's not the camera there. That's okay. That's okay. Just um, be able to loosen this out. Is what you don't want to do when you're taking the soil out what you don't want to do is grabbing the stem like this and pulling because that's you're going to damage your roots potentially you might it's just delicate it's just it's not advised it's not good practice some people do say you only hold the leaves i don't think you can put it out with the leaves but what it would, would what it would mean is that you're not going to damage the actual whole plant as a as a whole but what i like to do Knife down the sides until it's loose enough. Then I kind of, uh, I'll, if it's a big enough plant, I'll grab it like this, but not grab it just, put, just, just in case my fingers are around. But when a small one like this, I can kind of just put my fingers like this, and I'm just tipping it over, and that just to stop. Yeah, just to stop the all the soil coming out at once, and hopefully with a bit of a tap, with a bit of a tap, and maybe with a squeeze. Wanna get, it's like getting an ice cube out sometimes. Now, yeah, I can see it coming. Oh, there we go. And there we go. There we go. It's not too bad. Sometimes you'll get, I mean, it is a bit like this, roots going around. You could pick it out a little bit. But in general, you don't, you don't need to because it's not encased. Like, you can still see, you can still make the earth out. I don't think we're going to need to, like, pull apart the, earth, the roots too much. I think it's all good. And turn this upside down. Plonk this basically in the middle here, but making sure that the the stem is in the centre of the of the of the pot. That's what that's what I think anyway. And then we'll just uh, I'm just gonna grab my hand into the uh, the compost. 
This is going to be a bit messy. I'm going to have to get my dustpan and brush afterwards. I'm going to like uh, fill this up around the edges. Pattern it down some more. Down this side. I'll have to clear up later guys, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Actually I could have done this in the in the in the bowl or something. I wouldn't normally do this outside, but I just wanted you guys to see and I wanted to be able to talk and give you a bit of commentary while how it all you know while it it's all you know while it's happening. A bit of live commentary so so to speak. I push down too hard and just to kind of help it to stand up straight although it will it will stand up straight by itself if uh, if it's not or uh, just a surprisingly resilient surprisingly mobile these little guys they can be like leaning one way and then you turn them around and they lean the other way all over the place plants are more mobile more active than you think anyway that's that that's pretty much that dude spotted. Now, had, I, had he had this kind of pot before, he would have grown to the size of these dudes. The background. So I'm going to carry on and try and pot the rest of these guys. Uh, I might kind of just do it with the camera on and uh, fast forward it all. So these plants here are all done. These oh, I've done. They've done five. I've got so much more, but these ones here didn't have any kind of like aphid. The tomato plants 
told it before in the last video, Bills doesn't have any aphid infestations, but some of the peppers do. So I've separated the ones that do and the ones that don't. Um, two different rooms in the house. But these ones don't have them. I think it, I mean, I wonder why. It, it Maybe it's because uh, there wasn't enough garlic hanging over the pepper ones and there was over the tomato ones. Maybe the peppers are so delicious that the uh, aphids just want to have the peppers and leave the tomatoes alone. So maybe that's a little tip, I don't know. If you, if you don't want aphids in your tomatoes, get a pepper plant, they love that. Anyway, um, it, it, there's not too many on the peppers, it's just a little bit, you know, like, I say infestation. I say that, I say that lightly, it's a... Uh, Anyway, let's uh, let's put these peppers, little pepper shoots back uh, into the sunlight where they can get some more get some more delicious sunset, and um, then we'll we'll get the rest. And some of these little peppers look different because some of them are different types of peppers. I can't, I've got completely mixed up which ones are which. Harder than check. Some of them are hot. Some are not hot. Some are like sweet peppers. Some are bell peppers. Um, some of them are a bit like this, perhaps because I went a bit crazy with um, some organic, homemade uh, aphid killer. But I mean, it's okay. It's still alive. It's got some new, new. I don't know. Who knows? We're just gonna look after them best we can. Let's give them bigger pots. It will help. <laughs> What Porthos didn't know was he was about to get the fright of his life. That one scared me because oh, there was a little bug on there. Did you see the bug? There's like a little wiggly bug on there. Uh. Maybe, not, maybe that's why this one didn't grow so much. I'm sure the bug's fine. Oh, well, it's a beneficial bug. Things are not beneficial. Leave it alone, it was just so fast. <laughs> it was like a slightly bit, I don't know what it was. Answers on the postcard, well, that, heck, what heck, what that was. Now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna give these guys back to the sun. Uh, even though it's getting a bit gloomy now outside, a bit late, uh, late in the day really to be doing gardening, but we're inside, so they'll be fine. These guys are um, the ones that grew faster because they were in the bigger pot. Now what I'm going to do with these guys is I'm going to have to uh, aggressively prune them. So, now I was worried the first time I did this to the other plant, the other pepper plant, but it was really beneficial, honestly. Um, now the, the lower, the lower leaves are gone, they've already disappeared, the ones that, the preliminary leaves, whatever they're called, they're different shapes, and they grow up with the, uh, with the seed, on the first, uh, as a first seedling, and then you get these guys, now, as long as you've got like four or six, one, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a big risk, I'm gonna you know, I'm gonna cut above. I'm gonna cut the top off here. I'm gonna cut the top off here like this at an angle. You see that? And then hopefully that will uh, well that will that will that will then divide here, and we'll get at least two at least two um, branches coming up here, and then we'll get more fruit in the end. I would have done it a bit lower, but this leaf had gone. Uh, we could even do it lower, to be honest. Could even do it lower. You know what? I've got so many plants. Do it lower. Do it down here. Okay. That looks crazy, doesn't it? What, like, what part of us? What have you done? What have you done? But. We'll, we'll come back and then uh, we'll see how it gets on. The reason you cut an angle like this is because if you did water it, you don't want the water to sit on top, so you want the water to run off. So we'll do that. And we've got this guy over here to do this, pretty much the same thing, too. You're like, no, Bartos, 
Go and hurt a lot of... Uh, you, you have to. Yeah, these, the, these are the preliminary leaves. I don't know, they've got a special name, but... The first leaves that come up. Um, they're not real leaves, they'll eventually wither away. You can even pull them off. So don't, we shouldn't really count those as the leaves. Um, there's a big space in between. It's, it's kind of growing fast. Uh, I'm going to give him, make sure it's got four. I'm, gonna, I'm even going to be... You should really wait till we've got four, but because I've got so many... Okay, I can cut up here. How's that before? I can cut up here. At the top of there. Top off. And there we are. That should... Uh, even that's a bit tall, really, for my liking, but... That is... Oh yeah, he should be fine. He should split there, and, and we'll have more... We'll have more... I'll cut that. I'm not sure. Hopefully you saw that. If not, we've got another one to dry now. So this one's a bit different because this one has already split and I've not had this kind of issue before. It's already divided. So like, it's like, don't cut me. I'm doing it. I'm dividing. <laughs> I know what you like. But, um, you know what? I'm going to be greedy with this one. I'm going to cut above. So, the so one, I mean, I'm going to cut above, I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to cut it here on both sides. It's got enough greenage that it will, it will, uh, it will know what to do. I'm going to, cut, I'm going to cut it here. We sh it should be fine. Uh, yeah, there's one just, yeah, because I don't want to go too high. Cut that guy off there. The corn racks will cut off. And if you do, if you do feel a bit sad doing that, you can plant that in some soil, and I like pull that leaf off there, put put it in the soil, um, pull that leaf there, and you and you'll get um, you should get another a cutting, but the cutting it will grow. It won't grow as fast as the original plant. That's all. Um, the original one will be, will be bigger than the. Button off the, from the top. Um, is this like a... Yeah, let's do the same for up here and around the same level. Do one just there like that. Hopefully that'll be a nice bushy plant. Not sure what's going on here. That's one another one. That looks like it might be another one, but... It's fine, he can... But I kind of feel like I should cut like that as well there. Part of me does. You know what? Let's go crazy. Let's set to... Uh... Yeah, let's go crazy. Let's, put, let's cut that there. Okay. There we are. There we are. We've really cut him down the size. Um, all, th all three of them. So, I mean, it, 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 it was already divided, it was already, already doing what I wanted to do, but I'm being greedy. I mean, maybe we'll have a mega good one. Anyway, that's uh, that's about it for me. I, um, I hope you enjoy. If, if you did enjoy the video, I would love it. Love it, love it, love it if you gave a thumbs up and I would love to see you again. So if you subscribe and press that little bell button, we can all be together again. Happy families, happy plants. And uh, maybe um, maybe at some point we'll name a plant after one of the viewers or something. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, I'll catch you next time in the next edition of Porthos Plant News. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. I couldn't go without showing you the little courage cactus. Little courage cactus. He's uh, he's been dropped a few times. Bits are broken off this side. But look at this. This is new. This is kind of like I realised that because of how light these little thorny thorns are, how white they are, how soft they are. It's new growth. Little courage cactus. He's not dead. Got courage. I think that's a lesson for all of us. Never give up. <laughs>